we made it to Anchorage, Alaska after a very harrowing travel day yesterday. Tell you what, I think that travel delays are just the norm lately. We had a three hour delay on our flight from Dallas to Anchorage. Luckily, we got a nice lounge to chill in for a little bit, but we made it. Alaska is beautiful, the weather is glorious, the sun is shining, and we are in the land of the midnight sun. So here, the sun sets at about 11.30 p.m. and it rises back again around 4.30 a.m. So you don't get a lot of darkness here. And it's just like beautiful. It's so beautiful. We're so excited to be here. Why are we in an Anchorage? So we are starting here in Anchorage. We are on a 14 day trek around Alaska and Canada. We are doing a cruise tour. So we will be going to Denali, to Fairbanks, to Dawson, to Whitehorse, Skagway, Glacier Bay, Ketchikan, and ending in Vancouver. So excited about this trip. Mm. This is a true bucket list trip for us. We've been to Alaska, we've done the Alaska cruises, but this is like next level Alaska. All right, so our first stop is right here at Ship Creek. That's right, Ship with a P, right? Not the other, Ship Creek. And it's right here, just on the edge of Anchorage, right here in this heart of the city. And this is where you can come and do some fishing. There's so many locals, like you can see them lying in the banks and they're salmon fishing specifically for king salmon. This is actually a really unique spot because it's the only urban creek you can drive right up to, come down and fish for king salmon. Okay, so I've been asking everybody, any luck, any luck, any luck? Because I'm not seeing anybody pull any salmon out of there. <laughs> Nobody's catching anything, but it's because the tide is really low, but they said within about an hour, high tide will be coming in and that's when you'll start catching the fish, the king salmon. Well, we learned pretty quickly that in Anchorage, you need a car. There's only so much you can do in the downtown area in walking distance from our hotel. So a big thank you to Annie who lives here in Anchorage for letting us borrow her car. And we are out here at Beluga Point. So we're a little bit south of Anchorage now. And what's cool is there is the Alaska Railroad that runs right through here all the way to Seaward. So if you're flying into Anchorage to cruise out of Seaward, you are going to see this beautiful scenery. This is called Beluga Point because this is where you can come and watch the beluga whales when they're in season. We're not having any luck today, but that's okay because the scenery is spectacular. I mean, there are literally mountains all around us and this beautiful inlet of water that the tide is high right now, so you've got water coming all the way up. This is stunning. It's breathtaking. I could literally just spend all day here just looking at mountains. It's beautiful. So it's already high tide, but some locals were saying you got to go to Beluga Point also to see the, the tide rush in. It's really a spectacle. We missed it. It's already here. High tide was at 530 and we're just a little after. We missed it. But how cool would that be to see the tide rush in? So if you want to see that, you can do that here at Beluga Point also. And Elisa said she saw something white over there. Maybe. Maybe it was a beluga sighting, an accidental beluga sighting. We're gonna see if we can find some. We're gonna keep watching now. Yeah. Good morning. Today is day two in Anchorage. So last night we went to Glacier Brew House, had a great dinner, came in and got some rest because today is the real kickoff of this trip. What are we doing? We are doing a cruise tour with Holland America. So we are doing the land portion first and then we get on the cruise. We, this is a 11 day trip starting today. We are riding the McKinley train up to Denali National Park. We're staying in the lodge there for two days. Then we go on to Fairbanks, Dawson, Canada, Whitehorse, Canada. Then we go down to Skagway and get on the ship, Glacier Bay, Ketchikan, and end in Vancouver. This is gonna be an exciting day. Everybody that's in this lobby is going to get on the train, so let's go. We've made it to the train station now. This is the McKinley Explorer train. So how it works is Alaska Railroad owns the train car. 
I mean the engine car, the engine car, and then the cruise lines own the train car. So we've got two for Holland America, one for Princess. They, we're early in the season, so as the season gets later, there will be more cars added. But we're about to load up and start our trek up to Denali today. Breakfast is served. We are in the dining car. Have a beautiful view for breakfast. Thank you. Excellent. The staff has been excellent. A super excellent experience so far. We can actually move from one train to the other. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
is sick. Wow, just nothing but epicness going on here. So much wilderness, and mountains and creeks. We're at our home for the next two days. This is McKinley Chalet Resort. This is Holland America's resort. Across the street is Princess Lodge. So it doesn't matter which cruise line you're doing this tour with, you're gonna be right next door to each other. There's not really a town here, but there's like a few gift shops and a few places you can eat in between the two. But there's plenty to do right here. I don't think we need to leave the property for dinner. There's a steakhouse where we're eating tonight. I know Jason's super excited about that. Yep. But uh, so far, we took a quick peek around before we broke the camera out. But let's go, let's go check this place out. outside so this fire feels fantastic yes and, and yes we do have gloves and hats and scarves they're just in our suitcase and we haven't caught them out yet <laughs> so this resort's pretty big so we just walked through the main building which is where you you know come in registration tours all that good stuff we are in one of these smaller buildings behind the main building but there's more that way so whenever we got here the bus kind of drove around dropped people off at different buildings and dropped us off last so we saw you know the different areas we'll go walk it later but for now we're gonna go check out our room it stopped raining finally yes and it's not supposed to rain anymore tonight Ooh, this is us this is our cabin savage river suite is the name of ours g102 let's go check this place out whoa <laughs> holy whoa. moly this is a house this is like a house. So what do we have here? We got a huge TV hanging on the wall. We got we got chocolate chip cookies for Lisa. We got a bottle of wine, table, couch. Really nice bathroom here. Oh, and a huge king bed. Look at that bed. <laughs> This bed, it's a king, but it looks bigger than that because it's got this massive headboard and it's like up on a platform. This is a really cozy uh, room. So we've actually got two rooms. This is a suite. So we have the bedroom area, the living room area, bathroom, so I guess that's technically three rooms. Jason's got a coffee pot over there, a Keurig stocked with all of his favorites. There's a mini fridge. There's fans, you know, if you get hot, which is 42 degrees, so I don't think that's gonna happen. But what's super cool is we transferred from Anchorage to here on the train, but our luggage met us here. It came on a truck or a bus, and when we got here, our luggage was waiting in the room for us. Check out our patio. Oh, super sweet. We got our own little back porch. We got a door off of our bedroom and the living room. And we got a view out there. Down there's Denali Square, which we're gonna go check out later. We heard that's where the grand staircase is. We're at Canyon Steakhouse for dinner. There's a couple of restaurants that are here, part of the lodge, and this is one of them. A um, little bit about how the meals work, because it's different than a cruise. This is called a cruise tour, but the land portion works a little bit different. You can come to the restaurant and you can just pay for your meals just like you would in any restaurant, or you can buy a prepaid meal plan, which is what we have. So for every meal, we get a voucher. And so this voucher is one for each of us. It says that we can get, with this meal plan, uh, includes soup or salad, dinner entree, dessert, and a non-alcoholic beverage. So if you want something alcoholic to drink, you can just pay extra for that. But we've eaten pretty darn good so far today with these meal vouchers. So it's just you're prepaying for your meals is all it is. That's how it works. Um, but Jason is getting a steak, big surprise. And I'm gonna get the rockfish because I kind of fell in love with rockfish whenever we were fishing in Ketchikan last year. So it's a local Alaskan fish and that's definitely what I'm going for. That was some of the best French in the soup I've ever had. That was good. That was so good. Like, I've never made French onion soup, and I don't know why, because I love it. I mean, I've even bought the Lipton onion soup mix. I cook my roast with Lipton onion soup mix, because it makes the flavor so good. 
But I'm gonna make my own. I'm inspired to make my. Wow, own, you're inspired. To make my own French onion soup, and I hope to make it this good. Wow. This was good. And I ate all the bread. <laughs> Got it. Oh. And on such a cold day, this is just what the doctor ordered. So far, so good here at this restaurant. So Jason said his feelings about his soup. My salad was absolutely delicious too. The starters were good. The presentation on this is excellent. So let's give this rockfish a try. Oh, it just falls apart. It's so tender. That's delicious. Mm. It's a light, flaky white fish, and it just soaks up the seasonings. And there's like a, they actually said it's curry sauce, which is interesting because I would have never thought about putting curry sauce on fish, but it tastes really, really good. Okay, so I got the 12 ounce ribeye, medium rare. Just cut into it. it looks really good, nice and juicy. Come with a side of mashed potatoes. Uh, we got some asparagus and squash. That's a delicious steak. That's got good flavor. It's cooked right. Everything's been good. Uh, really. It really has. Yeah, it's been nice. Really nice steak. The more I eat this, the more I like it. So the flavor of the fish is great. But you do a bite of the fish and a bite of the carrot, and it just goes perfectly together. And then I cut into the potato. These are those blue-purple potatoes. But they're so good. Like they're they're roasted, so they're really like have a lot of flavor into them. They're not they're not hard. They're very very soft. This is excellent. Really good meal. Update on what's going on right now. It is 38 degrees. It is 10:18 p.m. and I have this cool little app that will tell us our elevation, which is 15:78. Oh, it's jumping. 15, 1400 now. 1532. That's our elevation. But the big thing is, it is 1018 p.m., not a.m., and this is the clearest visibility we have had of these mountains all day. It's been overcast, it's been very, very cloudy, even raining, and now at night, it's when 10 o'clock, y'all. To us, it should be dark. We've got the clearest view ever, and oh my God, those mountains over there. It's just like all around you. You just stand here and you just turn in a circle and you're like, mountain, 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 snow, snow. Ooh, what is that over there? It's just amazing. This is the Nunana River. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but according to this board right here, this is the Nenana River. N-E-N-A-N-A -N -N -A River. This is really cool. So, in these waters, you have... Uh, Arctic grayling, G-R-A-Y-L-I-N-G, salmon, and you have Dolly Varden trout all in this river. This is the Ninana. Ninana. Ninana? Yeah, Ninana. But it joins in with the Yukon River and empties out in the Bering Sea. Pretty cool. But the sound of it is, oh, what's, is yeah. the sound of it is what's so awesome. I mean, I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's powerful. I mean, it's just the current is amazing, and I have no idea where this water comes from. I mean, we're 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 only like what? What'd you say? Fifteen hundred feet. Yeah, fifteen hundred feet up in the air, but like it's going down. Where's this water coming from? I don't really know, but who cares? It's really beautiful and it's powerful and the sound of it is just amazing. All right, so this is the Grand Staircase and it takes you down to Denali Square. I do not know how many steps it is, but we're here about to find out because Elise is gonna count them. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, Elisa just said, I'm not counting. <laughs> I forgot to count. We don't know how many steps, so you'll just have to see for yourself. But there's a lot. Denali Square has a fire. Multiple fires. Multiple fires. Look. 
and we have it all to ourselves. I guess everybody else is in bed. Yeah, because it's like 11 o'clock now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's 11 o'clock p.m. Look at this. This is crazy. It's, it's like apocalyptic, sort of. Okay, that was definitely worth the trip down the yeah. Grand Staircase. Yes. That feels so good. Oh my god, I wish you could feel that right now. <laughs> I want to get closer, closer. This is neat. This is a very, very old vehicle right here. So the sign says from stage coach to safety coach. So this was one of the first vehicles other than a horse drawn stage coach to bring people up into Denali. And this is about from the 1930s is what it's, oh no, 1924. But pretty neat. It looks like part of it's built out of wood, a vehicle with like wood on it. back up there's 74 steps I've done much worse than that that was okay <laughs> it just it looked worse than it 74 looks, when you look at it you're like oh my god that's so many steps it wasn't that bad that's a wrap for today we had a long travel day starting in Anchorage eight hour train ride we are now at the Mount McKinley chalet resort that's a mouthful to remember tomorrow we are going into denali national park then we are taking a flight over the summit of mount denali pretty cool so we're exhausted it's 11 30 p.m and we are going to bed as you can see the roku has been hooked up to the tv so we're gonna coast out on tv for netflix a little bit and chill netflix and chill don't miss tomorrow's video it's gonna be pretty epic if you're new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.